Hello, this is Chrissy from TrainingGrants.com and I did receive the first requested video or question to be answered at videos at TrainingGrants.com and it was how do I create an RSS feed for my WordPress site? And the answer to this one is actually really simple because WordPress creates RSS feeds for you automatically. Once you install WordPress on your website, it will create a feed at yourwebsite.com forward slash feed. I've set up a testing directory for my website so that I can install WordPress and play around and it doesn't actually affect my real website. So my RSS feed would be at traininggrounds.com forward slash testing dir forward slash feed. The way that you can test whether or not this worked or whether or not WordPress set up your RSS feed is go to a feed validator and the one that I actually use is the W3C feed validation service and that's at validator.w3.org forward slash feed. So what I'm going to do is copy first part of my web address and then I'm going to add forward slash feed to test whether or not this feed is valid. And I get this status that says congratulations this is a valid RSS feed. So now I can use this address to create an RSS icon on my website, add it to different readers, give it out to anybody who I want to have it, and anything else that I want to do with it. Now, there are two things to know about the WordPress RSS feed. First, the only way that you'll have this easy feed address is if you've changed your permalinks within the settings. So if I go to my dashboard, and I go to settings, and then I go to permalinks, the default is something like traininggrounds.com forward slash page equals one two three and if you've changed your permalinks to a custom structure right now mine is just the post name or one of these day and name month and name or numeric then your RSS feed will change to forward slash feed if you haven't done this and you are just going to keep the default settings, which is not recommended for SEO purposes, then your RSS feed address is going to be yourdomain.com forward slash question mark feed equals RSS2. So you can plug that into the feed validator and check and see if your address is forward slash feed or forward slash question mark feed, all that garbly. And the second thing to know about the WordPress RSS feeds is that they only work for the blog posts. If you're using WordPress to create a website where you are adding new pages as well as blog posts and you want those added to an RSS feed, then you will have to install a plugin for RSS pages. So in your dashboard under plugins, you'll go to add new, search for RSS pages, and you can either install the very first option, which of course is called RSS Pages, and activate that, or I actually prefer the RSS Includes Pages, and that actually has a higher rating, and it modifies the RSS feed so that it includes pages and not just posts. And this means that almost any update that you make to your website will go out to the people who have your RSS within their readers. And that's a really simple way of finding out what your RSS feed is and how to include pages within it. If you want more options for customizing your RSS feed, then you would want to go to FeedBurner. And I will show that in the next video, so stay tuned.